Welcome to the month of March. I am Joseph Evans and this is Eyes on the Street. On today's edition, a report found out that Nigerians have indicated their interest to fight on the side of Ukraine on the ongoing war with Russia. The International Center for Investigative Reporting have stated that Nigerians were seen lining up at the Ukraine embassy for visas, interviews, and also making assessments to be one of that soldier that will represent Nigerians for the fight. What do you think about the development? Follow me as I hit the streets. A whole lot of persons are tired of Nigeria and the Nigeria situation. So it is, I feel like it's basically not about going to help them fight. It's basically about greener pastures. A whole lot of persons want to leave the country because over here is tiring. So they see this as an opportunity to go and just to leave the country for a start, right? And then onwards, find better stuff to do and then stay there permanently. So I feel like it's not about even going to help them, right? It's just about relocation and basically leaving this country to a sane place. I don't think it's a, it's a good thing to do because as far as I'm concerned, Nigeria have not finished fighting for themselves with all that we are going through now. Petrol, Wahala, educational system, everything, nothing that is actually working in Nigeria. You have not finished fighting for yourself, you want to go and fight for another country. How will you do that? How will that be? Oh, you see, for people saying they wanted to go to Ukraine to fight, I don't think it's polite. Because we're supposed to be friends to both Russia and uh, even uh, NATO. God and say, because I believe that the Ajakuta that is going on now, before, I think it was Russia that is building it. So if we have a problem here now, what I do know, I don't know the kind of problem we are going to encounter in the future. So we're supposed to be friends, not to, even if we are going to fight or we are going to support Ukraine, it's not supposed to expose like this. It's supposed to be underground, just as Europe are doing. Have you ever seen any Europe soldier going there directly like that? Even if they are going, they are going there indirectly not to expose them you see nobody want to become enemy to any any country this is a country of our own what we have the ammunition we are getting here is is the one that they have already used in the in, in, in overseas so we don't even even if we want to have fight now where do, where is the power which nuclear power do we have we are not we're just dent of africa for nothing we are like the onions you understand so we, i don't think i mean i will support any nigeria to go and waste his time because they will just finish them and there will be no any competition. But most of the Nigeria who want to go, they want to use that opportunity to go to Europe. When they go there, they hide. They will just drop everything and call themselves refugees. Concerning the issue that is happening between Russia and Ukraine and with the way youths are coming up that they want to go and assist in fighting the Russia. To me, I feel it's not normal because they don't have any weapon to go and fight these people. And another thing I see there is everybody is looking for opportunity to leave the country due to the situation in the country. So everybody is looking for a better place to go and hide their head. And if be because of this opportunity now, a lot of people are ready to leave the country. And maybe possibly after they reach that Ukraine, they, <laughs> they will just find their roots and go to another place. Concerning Ukraine and Nigeria and um, the way we're trying to express our love by deciding to go and fight for them, it's a personal thing. Uh, and then I heard, overheard somebody talking about how some persons came up with the idea of going to Ukraine to go and fight. And then the federal government now said that for anyone who wants to go there would, would cater for his or her visa. So I'm not like, okay. First of all, is the love to fight for Ukraine not enough? All right, not enough. How come those ones going to lay their lives will not be the ones to also have to pay for their visas? Do you understand? So I felt uh, initially I was going to be involved, not like involved in the whole travel thing, but involved with the fact that I was really impressed that some persons wanted to really genuinely go out to do these things. Not because of one special interest, but because of what's really going on. We're now saying that for those that want to go, we'd have to pay. Do you understand? We'll have to pay for your visas to go and die. 
um, as a matter of fact, it's not impressive to me because our country has its own challenges security-wise and we've not seen that gesture by citizens volunteering to play a key role on the field except for those who enroll to serve in the army or the police so i have i i view this with mixed feelings to me it could be just an avenue to secure citizenship or just an avenue to leave nigeria and you know uh, looking at what is happening in the country, it, it's a lamentable situation because sometimes last year we had a handful of medical practitioners, doctors, nurses, exiting the system, exiting the country. And today we have citizens of this country going to face death, going face to face with death, knowing that they were going to, they will certainly constitute a minority and they will be fighting from a weaker side in, in Ukraine. But still they are ready to go into that. So it's really hard, hard touching and, and it's a pitiable situation. You know, when I first heard about these uh, Nigerians going to Ukraine to support them over the social media, particularly on Instagram, uh, I, I was thinking it's a joke, sincerely speaking considering the nature of our country and what we have been through. But this, now that I have seen a reputable media organization coming out to investigate, to find out from people, it dawned on me that yes, there are a semblance of truth in that rumor. Uh, in my opinion, I felt uh, it's uncalled for, it's unnecessary, it's ill time. There is no point, you know, we have some of our internal crises. For over 14 years, Nigerians have been battling insurgency. Presently, bandit has taken over most of the state in the Northwest. Kano, Kassina, Zamfara, Kebi, and other stuff. Adama, Yobi, and Borno have been under the surge of the insurgency for the past 14 years. So if a Nigerian youth felt he has to cross the continent, go to Asia, go to Europe, in order to help Ukraine, it's, it's amazing, it's surprising. To me, I felt it's unnecessary, it's uncalled for. If at all they are passionate about other people's land, why can't they be passionate about Nigerians? Why can't they be volunteer, either through civilian joint tax force, either through any other means, vigilante group, to go to Sambisa Forest, to go to Borno, to go to Yobe, to go to Adama State, in order to bring this insurgency to their need. So to me, there is no need. Nigerians have not been patriotic. And you've heard the people's opinion on Nigerians who have made their intentions to fight on the side of Ukraine. Why not drop your opinions on our comment section, like and share, follow us on all our social media platforms. I am Joseph Evans. And this is Eyes on the Streets. Until I see you next time, stay safe.